Well, that was interesting, ladies and gentlemen. The fact that Gluteus has announced another match for Raising Sins. So it's going to be Mutant versus Alex Zane in a friggin' Extreme Rules match. That's going to be big, and it's going to be, as it's titled, Extreme. Well, there's Chris Kennedy. Chris Kennedy, ready to go, ready to fight. But she's been on the bad side of Gluteus, which really is not good if you get on the bad side of him. Because he's not a guy that's going to lay lightly. But now he's going up against the woman that he beat up. The number one contender for the women's title. And he's going to go up against the next number one contender, which is D. D will face the winner of the women's title match at Racing Sins 2 between Rotisserie Jamie and Kapenja Mabu. So here we go. Rotisserie Jamie. Coming in the ring. Let's see what she's got in store for us. And now here comes her team partner, D. D's ready to go. D has an excellent wrestling repertoire. She can go in there and out wrestle you. Chris Kennedy does not like D, does not like Rotisserie Jamie, doesn't like anybody in the women's division. She has such an attitude. Especially due to the fact that she is managing the Masters of Wrestling. So there's D. And now, here's the match, and oh, Rotisserie Jamie, very unhappy with the beatdown from the last episode. She's going to go crazy on her. She does not like Chris Kennedy. And Chris Kennedy probably doesn't like her, and oh, kicking her multiple times in the face. And oh, nice uh, clothesline on the ground from Chris Kennedy. Chris Kennedy... A uh, great high flyer, a great talent, but just an attitude of a freaking bitch. I hate to say it, but she's a bitch. And oh man, that was a nice reversal from Rotisserie Jamie. Rotisserie Jamie, what you gonna got do here? Uh oh, got reversed. And oh, nice kick. And okay, that was weird. And bam, nice one from Chris Kennedy. Rotisserie Jamie, like I said, could very well be the women's champion after Raising Zins. Because she is the number one contender to go up against Kapenj Mabula. Who has been given the night off tonight. And Ada Fox and Nutty Rockchick have been banned from the building. Speaking of the women. And oh, nice one from D. They have been banned from the arena. Barred from the arena. And they have to settle their differences in the steel cage. And now D really wants to bring it now. And what's D going to do here? It's going to be hard for Chris Kennedy. Ooh, because she's facing two. Two women at the same time without a partner. So Chris Kennedy really has a big obstacle to overcome. Now I tried to get D there, but no, nothing. And was kicked, but oh, nice kick. Knee to the face from Chris Kennedy. And oh, drop kick. Chris Kennedy, pretty much the tomboy of the division, other than Ada Fox. Like I said, Chris Kennedy is a loudmouth in and of itself. I think she's a loudmouth because she's got guys that's going to protect her from her loudmouth. And wait a minute. Uh oh, here comes the pinfall. One, two, Rotisserie Jamie stopped the pin in time. 
But like I said, I think it's because she's got so many people to defend her. That it's ridiculous. And, ooh, kick to the back of D. But no, D gonna make this into a physical fight. And nice takedown from D. Like I said, D has a great background of pure wrestling, which is seriously lacking in today's world. But she could go in there and just out wrestle you on the mat. And oh, nice takedown from Chris the well, this Kennedy. This Chris Kennedy. I wouldn't call it the icon because that is from MWE. One. And oh! Again with Rotisserie Jamie taking her off. And oh! Tried to drop kick her off of it. Elbow drop from D. And what's D going to do here? And wait a minute. No, here comes a roll up. And she's got her leg on the rope. One. And Rotisserie Jamie, once again, Chris Kennedy must be frustrated by now. Because she just can't get a good pin because there's Rotisserie Jamie right there. Chris Kennedy might have had this match won, but because of Rotisserie Jamie being there. Oh, man. Nice maneuvering from Rotisserie Jamie. And D's going to pin her. One. Two. No. Chris Kennedy kicks out. What's D going to do here? D now going. For a whole move. Oh, nice little running slam. And wait a minute. Oh, no. Chris Kennedy's had enough. She's going to go bonkers. And oh, what a DDT. And wait a minute. What's she going to do here? And oh, drop kick to the face. And what's next? I think Chris Kennedy wants to do more damage and oh nice Hurricane Rana and gonna do some high flying there you go and next for Chris Kennedy what is she gonna do here oh nice takedown and what is she gonna do oh full frog splash of some kind wait a minute now D has had enough oh nice clothesline she tags in Rotisserie Jamie. What's Rotisserie Jamie going to do here? Oh, Rotisserie Jamie. Going to go for a finisher. Bam. Nice one from Rotisserie Jamie. And here we go. One, two, three. That's it. It's over. Rotisserie Jamie and D pick up the victory. Although Chris Kennedy really did a lot better than I expected her to be. That was a really good effort. But all in all, it was just too much to try and fight two females all at once. But good match, good showing. There's the replays from the match showing you what exactly happened. She gonna, there's the pinfall where she got the victory over Chris Kennedy. It was just too much. So, there's your winner right there. Up next, we've got a promo from Nick Gabriel, and we've got more exciting action, so stay tuned.